Hey guys, Martin here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the all-new Noctua NHD15 CPU cooler. This builds upon the previously successful NHD14 by upgrading to larger fans as well as using a newly designed fin array to improve the efficiency. This monster cooler manages to be powerful and silent at the same time with relative ease. Inside the box, we find neatly organized and labeled boxes that hold the mounting hardware as well as the accessories. This does use Noctua's Secure Firm 2 mounting system, so if you do have an older Noctua cooler with the same mounting system, swapping coolers is easy as undoing two screws. This cooler does only support LGA 1156 or higher systems or any AMD system. Anything older than a 1156 is not supported. Noctua has done well with the packaging by using eco-friendly materials such as cardboard, as well as using excess foam to ensure the product arrives to you in one piece. In the accessories box, we find a full-size tube of thermal paste, although there's less paste in it, case fan mounting hardware in case you don't want to use the second fan in your heatsink, additional fan mounting clips for the heatsink, an included screwdriver, which is nice to see with this heatsink, a metal Noctua case badge, a wide band splitter, as well as two low noise adapters. In the Intel box, we find the instructions for LGA 2011 as well as 1150 anything, the mounting screws, the mounting brackets, as well as the backplate, which is also needed for the AMD socket. On the AMD side, we find the instructions, the screws, as well as the mounting brackets. The second fan does come in just an ordinary brown box, so you won't get the fancy retail packaging with it, which is expected. The fan you get is the same quality as the retail one, except I did notice that this had a black connector instead of the standard beige connector, which is a very nice upgrade. The cooler itself comes in a nice eco-friendly brown package, which can be confusing to open. It comes well protected with even cardboard wedge to prevent the fan from moving around as well as the fin stacks. The heatsink itself comes pre-mounted with one fan, but the second fan is your responsibility to mount on, which isn't quite difficult. Installing the second fan is as simple as clipping on the metal holding clips and then clipping it onto the heatsink. Noctua has used the same fin design as the NHU14 with the grooves to help break up wind turbulence. Find the same six heat pipes that were seen on the NHD14, and it's attached to Noctua's copper faceplate. On the top of the fit arrays, we find Noctua's logo embossed into them. Here's a look at the bottom of the heatsink with a copper base plate, the six heat pipes connected to it, as well as the mounting hardware to the brackets. The sides of the cooler have notches cut into them to get around large RAM sinks, even with socket 2011 boards having them on both sides. This really helps compatibility with the cooler. The middle fan will have to be removed to provide access to the mounting screws. Although not officially supported, it is possible to mount three fans if you have an extra NHU14 laying around. Thanks for checking out this unboxing of the NHU15 CPU cooler. For full written review, check out the description box below.